Livid Steve Bruce hopes reporters are feeling heat over Newcastle sack rumors. Steve Bruce has hit back at the media over reports he is close to being sacked by Newcastle United by telling journalists I hope you're feeling the heat. The 60-year-old has been strongly linked with the sack since the pound's 300 million Saudi Arabian-led takeover of the club was completed last week. Bruce's side currently sits second bottom of the Premier League on three points and without a win from their opening seven matches this season. However, the club confirmed he will take charge this weekend when Tottenham Hotspur travel to St James Park on Sunday for what will be his 1,000th game as a manager. Speaking in his pre-match press conference on Friday afternoon, Bruce snapped back at journalists when asked about recent reports linking him with the sack. It hasn't happened, what you all wanted, blasted Bruce. Let's hope you are getting stick from the people in charge of your department. As I have said many times, you have to take what comes your way. I have tried to keep my dignity. But I hope you guys, journalists, are getting a slap from your bosses, getting a bit of heat. Whoever it was feeding you information, they didn't get it right. Should Newcastle United sack Steve Bruce? Let us know in the comments section below. A combination of Newcastle's poor start to the season and the arrival of the club's new owners have led to rampant speculation over Bruce's future over the last week. In addition, 94% of fans said that they wanted Bruce replaced as the club's manager in a recent supporter survey. A number of high-profile names have been linked with replacing Bruce if he is to be relieved of his duties by new co-owner Amanda Staveley. Bruce would reportedly receive a payout worth pounds 8 million if he were to be dismissed before the end of his current contract, which expires at the end of the season. The most recent bosses linked with replacing Bruce include former Chelsea manager Frank Lampard, four-time Europa League winner Unai Emery and Lucien Favre, who most recently